Hi, welcome back. I'm Brainer, and today we are playing another game over on Itch.io. And I've done two more, uh, two others of this series from the Midnight series, which is very heavily inspired by the Twilight Zone. And you know me, I love everything Twilight Zone, or I really appreciate anything Twilight Zone and the Outer Limits and the Extraordinary and and all those kind of um, series that came out in like well, Twilight Zone started in the fifties, but the others were more like the 80s, you know, 80s and 90s. Um, I really love that kind of stuff. Also just only found out that the person who worked on Midnight Scenes is also the artist in Thimble Thimbleweed Park, which is one of the best point and click adventures I've played in recent years. And if you love Twin Peaks and everything that, and Twin, Pe uh, Twin Peaks and X-Files, then I would highly recommend you check it out because it's humorous, it's interesting, intriguing, and it's just a great game. So we've got the midnight scenes and it's called The Granny. Oh. Hi. Is it the twilight zone. You can't see my eye. Yeah? On tonight's episode, two innocent children who face their most primal fears, haunted by mysteries from beyond the grave. Ancient secrets that should never have been unearthed, tormented souls wandering between realities. Turn off the lights and enjoy this chilling tale, for you're about to enter the Twilight Zone. Welcome to another dimension, another dimension, another dimension, another dimension, another dimension. Welcome to Midnight Scenes. Love it. October 1986. I was three years old. Poop in my pants. No, I was actually already potty trained by then. True story. Oh. Good morning. My name's John Wilson. My name is also John Wilson. Good morning. Wait a second, I am John Wilson. What are you talking about? You must be a double. A double? Are you crazy? Doubles don't exist. Really? Then how do you explain this? Oh no, you're a doppelganger, my evil double, aren't you? Are you here to kill me and steal my identity? I don't want to die so young, ugh. Are you coming to say goodbye to mom and dad? I'm busy. Um, they're going to be away for three days. Wouldn't you miss them? <laughs> Why should I? They're leaving me alone with you and that silly Veronica for three days. I hate them. Veronica's nice. I like her. That's because you don't have any personality. What are you playing anyway? <laughs> I still can't believe they brought me uh, they bought me another identical Benny for my birthday. They don't care about me at all. They don't even remember which toys they already gave me. Aren't two Bennies better than one? Aren't two Bennies better than one? Don't be silly, it's ridiculous. Can I have one of them? No way! I'd rather keep playing this stupid doubleganger thing for the rest of my life. Aww. Oh, no, why? Why now? <laughs> 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 
No. Oh, I can put something in there, huh? Okay. Sofer. Ew. The M&M &M stain is still there. Oh, oh, it's my infantry, I see. Lamp. Alright, TV. Support your indie devs. I agree. Uh, mirror. Let's go to spooky mirror. Are you the nanny or are your parents? No, you're the nanny. Don't worry. If anything comes up, I'll call you right away. Have a great trip. The bay is beautiful this time of year. Wish we were going for pleasure, not work. We should go. The plane leaves in three hours and we might hit some traffic. Bye kids, be good and don't push Veronica too hard. Bye bye mom, bye dad. Guess you're gonna go all creepy on her ass. No, it was called the granny, not the nanny. Was it granny or nanny? Oh crap. Well, here we are. We still have a couple of hours until dinner time. What would you like to do? Mm, let's paint. I like to paint trucks that explode and... Your drawings are boring. You paint like a little baby. That's not true. Tina, don't talk to your brother like that. It's Christina. Only my family calls me Tina. I've taken care of you so many times. Don't you consider me family yet? Pfft, don't be ridiculous. Well, Oliver, it looks like your sister is in a mood today. Maybe she wants to tell us what to do. Let's go to the forest. The forest? On the other side of the lake. It's pretty. The trees are painted different colors. Mom says they were painted by prehistoric women. It looks like a big work of art. Can we go, please? That way I can look for my toy truck. I lost it in the clearing the other day. Okay, fine. Just for an hour, and then we come back. Yay! You pick up the oars. Sure. <laughs> I mean, sure. Let's do it. To the garden. Go to the garden. Oh, we can go to the garden, even though we're just... Uh, Alright. Oh, 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 okay. Oars. Pick them up. Yeah, pick. Picky. Got him. All right. Nice, Oliver. A hole? I thought it was a dog bowl. Sparkle hasn't come to eat in days. Aww. Well, it's because there's a hole. Oh, this hole. I thought the bowl was a hole because it also says hole with the bowl. The bowl has a hole with a hole in the bowl. Hole a bowl a bowl a bowl a bowl a bowl a bowl. Why does it say that there? I'm gonna go... Can I kick? Oh. Alright, very linear then, I guess. Alright. Do either of you know how to row? I've never piloted a boat. Leave it- Oh, leave it to the professionals. But it's safe, right? Don't be afraid. There are no monsters in the lake or anything like that. Just sit next to me and take my hand. Ugh, get in the boat, lovebirds. We need to install the oars first. Alright, oar. I did! Rope? Uh, oars. Oh, I gotta drag. All aboard. They're still not installed. Alright. Oh, I don't have to do any rowing. That's nice. Well, we're in the creepy forest. Uh... Can I go see the tree paintings? Did I tell you they're like a billion years old? Really? Wow. I'll look for my truck too. It can't be far. Okay, you can go, but don't walk too far away. I don't want to lose sight of you. Do you think that's a... You're a shit babysitter. Okay, let's go to the creepy trees. I like the ladder trees. To forest? Did that... Oh. Don't go too far away, we're going into the... Oh, chocolate bar. 
Take it. People are so inconsiderate. Take it then. Take it. Take it! Alright. Hello, birds. I'm gonna say hello to each one of you. Hi! Oliver! Crows, I love you. Treat them. They say if you count the rings, you can read their age. It's not true, though. Not true. What is this? Bones. Another crow. Oh, I have nothing to say about these dinosaur bones. What? Crow. Squirrel. Hey, squirrel. Oh, cute. You're eating a finger. And I have nothing to say about that? Alright. I wonder if we're gonna get another creepy crow. Alright. A lot of crows down. Oh, yes. Blair Witch style. I can't pick any of these up. Oh, these are the paintings, right? I'm going very far away. Mom never lets me play this far from the clearing. My truck must be around here somewhere. So yeah, these are the paintings, right? It's It was kind of like... Not obvious. Alright. Crow. Let's press all the crows. Toy truck! Nice. Here you are! Who put you here? Oh yeah, so if I click on things that I can take, it does actually go in. Oh, hi! Hey, Oliver! Come here! There's something I want to show you. Where did you come from? Tina? What are you doing here? Yeah, that's not Tina. Anyway, we're gonna go anyway. Let's go to our desk. Here. Yeah. Hi. Oliver's dead, you know. So many squirrels in this forest. One time they ate a kid. Oh, one time they ate a kid from down from ha from town from head to toe. Only his bones remained. I'm not lying. It was on the news. That's creepy. Uh, by the way, where's your brother? I told him not to walk too far away. Don't ask me, I'm not the babysitter. Oliver! Oh! Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Oliver? Oliver! What's wrong? What the hell is that? The first is full of paintings like that. That says there's this magical aura from the tribes that lived in the woods. It keeps the paintings bright. This one though, I haven't seen it before. It certainly looks recent. So creepy. You didn't paint it to scare passers-by, did you? How would I have painted it? It's like 20 feet tall. Come on, it's time we go back home. I don't like this place, it gives me the creeps. Come, uh, come Oliver, let's go. Oliver? That made me jump. Oliver! What, what's happening, is he alright? No idea, come on, help me get him to the boat. I think he's possessed and I think you shouldn't Take him to the home, cause you're all gonna die. Thank God, you're back. How are you feeling? What happened? A blood sugar drop, probably. Here, eat this chocolate. Not the one you found on the floor, is it? 
It's good. Hazelnut's my favorite. Really? Mine too? Hey, are you sure you're okay? Maybe I should call the doctor. How long was I unconscious? You've been in and out for about 10 minutes. You scared us to death. And Tina, where is she? In her room, I think. I wonder what she wanted to show me. What do you mean? In the woods, she told me to follow her. I tried, but she walked too fast. Then I found a strange drawing on the rock. It really impressed you, huh? I don't know. I, I guess. Come on, rest while I heat up dinner. You're not worried about a fake Tina asking him to go a place? What? The lasagna I bought will surely bring you back to life. <laughs> All right, it's eight o'clock. <laughs> Looks like dinner did wonders. I like that happy rosy face. Now rest, little prince. Have sweet dreams. Don't listen to her. What? Tina, she's always mean, but I think you're cool. Oh, thank you very much. I think you're cool too. I really enjoy taking care of you both, you know? You're very interesting kids. Hey, do you want me to show you my collection of cards? It's from the Midnight Zombies TV series. Sure, I'd love that. Oh. This one is the biggest and scariest zombie of the family, but he's always nice to the living. Don't be fooled, even though it's a baby. This one's super sharp teeth. I don't like that mouth. What is that mouth supposed to be? Okay, go away, ball bag mouth. This one's the most evil. She devours brains. And this is my favorite. Isn't he cute? Or isn't she cute? What a fantastic collection. I love it. Hope you don't dream of brain-eating zombies tonight. Get some rest, Oliver. Good night. Night. Well. Oh, I don't like that. Don't jump scare me. Please. Oh. Oliver! Oliver! Oh, Oliver! Hey, Oliver! Are you awake? Tina, what's wrong? It's Veronica. She's gone. She left us. She's downstairs. I hear the TV. Oh, yeah? Why don't you go down and check it out? I'm telling you, I saw her from my window. She was walking towards the pier. She must be meeting her boyfriend secretly when she should be taking care of us, like that other time. You made that up. You never liked Veronica. I didn't make it up. That boyfriend of hers jumped over to our garden to be with her. I saw them kissing. Ew! But this time, I have my camera. I'll take pictures. Oh no. Come on, let's see if we can spy on them from my window. Oh, from the window, that's okay. I don't want to go out. <laughs> see something? The boat's missing. They've gone to the other side of the lake. How romantic. How? She doesn't know how to steer the boat. More proof that she's with her boyfriend. I can see a light in the forest, but nothing more. Dad has the old binoculars in his office. I'm not going into Daddy's office at night. It's dark in there. This is your chance to prove you're not a coward anymore. Why not just turn the lights on? What the fuck? Come on. They must be on his desk, or in the drawer, or maybe in the closet. <sighs> Fine. Let's go. Let's go to Tina's room. I 
better not go into Tina's room if I want to stay alive. Dad's office. There you go. Let's go. Oh, there you go. Dad would be mad if I found he found out I'd be snooping around his office. I wonder if Dad killed someone in the war. Maybe I'll ask him when he comes back. Oh, small key. Nice. Oh, yes. Is it the witch? Uh, hello? <laughs> who, who is this? Veronica, please come back. Why did you leave us? What's in the closet? It's locked. But I get key. Oh good, shoebox. Photograph. These are from when I was born. Mm-hmm. Oh shit. And realized it was uh, changing dialogue. Let me just go back. Oh. Here they are. Condoms. No? Alright. Can I look at other things? Trophies. <sighs> Alright. I'm expecting something to have happened. Hey, Tina. Finally! Come on! Give me the binoculars! No way! I got them! It's my turn to look. I don't wanna... Okay, good. Crows! Crow! Crow. I don't like the slow panning around. No, 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 I see Veronica. She's alone and looks confused. Hey, wait! She stole my flashlight! Come on, let's go to the pier. Maybe we can see what's going on from there. We can't leave the house at night. Mom and Dad will find out. Okay, I'll go alone. But I'd lock myself in the bedroom if I was you. You know, the goblin in the attic like to hunt you at night. And I won't be here to protect you. Shut up! So, are you coming? Aw, oh, yes. Great, get dressed and grab your walkie-talkies. We might need them in case we lose track of each other. But we're not going to, are we? Of course not, it's just a precaution. <sighs> okay, I'll get the walkie-talkies. Walkie-talkies, they're right there. You could have just picked them up. Do I need to get dressed? How do I get dressed? Alright. Guess we're not getting dressed. I'm going to put on something warm. Okay. Nice. Oh, she went downstairs. Alright. I have the walkie talkies. Great. Let's go to the pier. Hello, crow. Hello, crow. I will keep saying hello to all of y'all. What was that? What is it? Impossible to see anything from here. They've taken their boat to the other shore. We'll have to walk around the lake on foot. What? Go through the woods at night? Are you crazy? Come on. We almost have them. I don't like it when you get bossy like this. Why does everything have to be done your way? 
Well, I don't like dragging along a whining crybaby either. So we both have to put up with it. Okay, I'm sorry. Sometimes you're just... You're not such a crybaby. Um, Tina Bobina? What now? There's something floating in the water. Yeah, I've been trying to click on it for ages. Looks like a bag. It's Veronica's bag. Are you sure? Yes, see? it's It has Piero, the cat's face on it. It's hers. Did she drop it? I don't know. We'll never reach it from there. Find me something long to get it with. What about a pruner? Pruruner. Pruner. Pruner. Did you find something? Yeah, pruner. Oh, can we tie the rope to the pruner? What about the rope? What about the pruner? Okay, fine. We'll go to the garden and clip that stick, I guess. This one. Clippy. Yeah, because that would do it. This will do. Hey, Crow. Hey, Crow. Never you mind. I got something. I got a branch. Bye-bye, oh. Tina. Tina! Are you okay? I it's very cold. Something's wrapped around my leg. I can't get out. Tina, what do I do? Hey, hey, calm down. Everything will be fine. Come on, throw me something to hold on to. Rope. I better tie the rope to somewhere. Now go find help. Mrs. Jordan is awake. I saw the light in her window. Oh, come on. I'll be fine. Don't worry. Just hurry up, okay? Here, take one of my walkie-talkies. That way I'll, I'll know you're okay. <laughs> Thank you. I... Find... Help. Mrs. Jordan's house. Yeah, and where is that? Can we go through the hole? Oh. Sparkly dead. Right, gotta go to the house then, I guess. Oh, no, no. I know, find Mr. Jordan's house. Get in. How do I find Mr. Jo Mrs. Jordan's house? It's upstairs. Is there a front door somewhere? Big painting. To the streets. Modern art. Yuck. It's locked. Yeah, so? The fuck? I need to go that way. Guess we'll get to Tina's room or somewhere. Uh, Tina's room. Yeah, but we need something. What else is there? Nothing. There's nothing here. I don't get it. Is there more in Dad's office? How do I unlock it? Oh, keys! What the hell? How would I know those are keys? That was so small. Right. Keys. Little octopus keys. Right, we're at the street. Come on. I better call Tina. Hope she's okay. Tina, are you still there? Yes, I'm freezing though. Have you found help? I'm on it. Crows! Hello, murderous crows. Hope that's not Sparkle. It might be. Oh, I want them to, to say hello to me. Bye! Hello, is this Mrs. Jordan? Jordan, is this you? I will ring the bell. Hello? Hello. Oliver! What are you doing here? 
Is everything all right? Mrs. Jordan, I need your help. Our babysitter was staying with us, but she left us and went looking for her and... Okay, okay, breathe. Come on in. It's cold outside. Oh, you're not that old. Sorry. you got a granny voice now. Okay, slow down. What happened? The babysitter, she abandoned us. Tina thinks she went into the forest with her boyfriend. She wanted to follow them and fell off the pier into the lake. Oh my god, is she okay? Yes, but she can't get out of the water. She needs help. Okay, I'll run to the pier to help. <laughs> well? Your sister. You stay here and attend Thomas in case he needs anything. You know, he requires special attention. He's in his room. Keep an eye on him, will you? Are all these adults just not thinking? I'll be right back. Alrighty. Bye bye. Mrs. Jordan. Let me go upstairs. Thomas' room is downstairs. Oh. <laughs> oh, telephone. Use it. I like the bubblegum color, so original. Thomas's room. Hello, Thomas? Oh, oh. Oliver, what are you doing here? Uh, Tina's in trouble. Your mom went to help her. Really? I thought mom was taking a bath upstairs. Sorry, sometimes my medication makes me confused. Is Tina okay? She fell in the lake and can't get out. Seriously? Well, don't worry. Mom is very strong. She'll pull her out of the water. Come on. She'll be fine. I swear, though, I thought Mom was chilling in the bathroom. I hate this medication. So his mom... Oh, God. The fo I just saw the picture behind him. I think they're doppelgangers, you know, because it opened up with doppelgangers and we saw doppelganger Tina and I think that's probably what the what lured the, uh, the babysitter out as well. And now I think that we've seen another doppelganger that is Mrs. John's Jordan, but actually isn't because, you know, everything went black and we heard the whispering, so I think she's a doppelganger too. How do you feel? Physically or mentally? Mentally? Well, it's only been two months since Dad died. It's been hard, and Mom makes me go to therapy with a super boring lady. Physically? I can't take two steps without gasping for air. Other than that, I feel wonderful. Can I ask you something that I never asked you before? You don't have to answer if you don't want to. Oh, you don't have to answer if you don't want to. Of course, ask away. About your illness. Are you going to die soon? I'd be very lonely. You're my best friend at school. Yeah, no idea. Mom always makes plans for the future. But I think she does it just to cheer me up. Her words are happy, but her face is sad. But I don't care too much about it. I'm not afraid of dying. Really? I'll go back to the same dark and tranquil place where I was before I was born. I like that idea. Anyway, let's stop talking about sad things. Look, I want to show you something. It's super cool. Oh, a Ouija board. A Ouija board? I found it in Mom's closet. I think she used it to talk to Dad. Come on, what do you want to contact? Or who? There are a lot of people I want to talk to. There are a lot of people. Oh, there are a lot of people I want. <laughs> I want to contact my dog. Oh, the old nanny. My dog, Alia. 
Nice choice, but we need someone who can respond on the Ouija board. Alvis. Al Alvis, but he's still alive on that secret island where all the famous people live who think who we think are dead. <sighs> Miss Marquez, my old nanny. She lived in this house before you moved in. She's, she was great. She had one eye missing and wore an eye patch, like a pirate. One day she suddenly disappeared. My mom told she went to live on her family's farm in Colorado. But Tina says she saw an ambulance and the police. We think something horrible happened to her. M mothers lie, you know. They do it to protect us, but they lie. We are going to contact your old babysitter. If she died in this house, her presence will be super strong. It'll be super cool, you'll see. I don't know. Come on, this is fun. Here, put your hand on this triangle thing. The planchette. The noise. Now I'll add my hand that we may join our energies. Now close your eyes. Do you have them closed? Yep. Good. Now focus on your old babysitter's image. I have found this picture of her in my father's office. Oh, I found my <laughs> I found this picture of her in my father's office. Do you think it might help? Are you kidding? It would help a lot. Let me see. Oh, there you go. See, because I clicked through this, so I totally missed it. So it was his nanny. She looks really sweet, actually. It's super cool. She really looks like a pirate. This picture will attract her spirit. Come on, put it next to the board. Let's start. I don't know if I like this. Relax, we can stop it whenever we want. We simply say goodbye to the spirit and she'll leave without a trace. Ready? I'm dead. Hmm? You're moving it. It's not me. <clears throat> it's your nanny spirit. I'm no. Oh. 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 Uh. Did your friend die? Do you have a leak? He's gonna die, isn't he? The bathroom is right above us. Oh, his mom died. Maybe mom left the tap running. Don't get up. I'm going to have a look. Oh. Oh, your mom died in the tub. Ha 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 ha. Yep. Well. Oh my god! Mrs. Jordan, but how? I don't get it. If this is Mrs. Jordan, who's with Tina? Tina? Tina, are you there? That Mrs. Jordan is not the real Mrs. Jordan. Mrs. Jordan is dead. There's blood everywhere. Tina, do you hear me? I have to go to the pier quickly. All right, let's do it. Oliver, what is it? I heard you screaming. Hmm. Stay there. Don't go upstairs, okay? Why? What happened? Was it an open tap? Yeah, something like that. The tap of life. Listen to me. I have to go find Tina. You stay here and call the police. Do what I tell you. The, the police? Because of an open tap? Just do it and tell them to come fast. But Oliver... Bye. What's the police's phone number? Oh, Dude. 
Oh, they dragged away the corpse. Good for them. Door. Hmm, door. I still don't know why I got my toy truck. They have to throw it at the witch or whatever. Hello, Carl. Maybe I can just sacrifice myself, save everyone. Hello, Crow! Oh, nobody's there. Tina! Oh no, she's gone! Oh. Oh. And nothing to say about this? There are foot footprints leading to the path that borders the lake. Has Mrs. Jordan double taken Tina into the woods? But why? I have to go find her. Nothing else? Oh, okay. Hello, murder squirrel. What are you eating? Oh, flashlight. Take it. Tina? Veronica? Take the flashlight. My flashlight! Oh, angry. Easy, easy. If I get closer, it'll bite me. Okay, doesn't want the truck. Here, have fun. No? Alright. That's why we had that, I guess. Nice, flashlight. It does fuck all, but you know, whatever. Can't see any crows. Where's the painting gone? Oh, there you are. Crow! Thank goodness, Tina, I found you. Are you okay? I thought I'd lost you forever. Come with, come with me, Oliver. No, I don't wanna. Where are you going? Tina? I have to say hello to all the crows. That's the rule. Maybe I'll survive. There's a lot of them. Oh! What was that? Tina, where are you? Whispers, let me say hello to the crows. Yeah? Sup? Oh, you again. Hello? Oh, dearie. Veronica, oh my god! Yeah, you did. What is happening? Oh. Little Oliver, it's time for bed. May I sing you a lullaby? Oh. Don't worry, we'll find them. Even if we have to turn the world upside down. I've never seen anything like it. Two children children kidnapped, the neighbor brutally murdered in a bathtub, the babysitter missing. What the hell happened here tonight? Detective, we found Veronica Turner, the babysitter, in the woods. She's dead. Also murdered? It seems so. Damn it! There's something else, but you better see it with your own eyes. God, 
poor girl. Look at her wounds. It looks like a wild animal attack. A wild animal doesn't murder people in their bathtubs or kidnap children, though. If you think that's strange, you haven't seen it all yet. Take a look at the rock. What am I supposed to see here? Agent, point the light at the painting. Does it have two children now? What the hell? Yep. Well, guess the nanny wanted her kids back. That was really good. I like that. I really like this series, actually. It's like... It's pretty spooky, but it's not like too in your face. Poor Oliver. Poor Tina. We might never know what happened to them. But don't fret. Som something tells me Detective Taylor won't rest until she finds an answer. For now, it's a secret between the two siblings. And the creature of the forest. Thank you very much for enjoying this new chapter of Midnight Scenes with us. Remember to shut your windows, lock your doors tight before bed. Creatures of the night are lurking. Good night and sweet dreams. The nanny. It's so funny that like in the beginning I totally lost um, who, uh, what the title was, whether it was the granny, the nanny or whatever. <laughs> the granny nanny. That was really good, I really enjoyed that. Um, I hope they are going to make many more of these. I've, I've liked every episode so far, so. And this one was the longest one by far, I think. So, thank you for playing, screaming and watching this game. That was the nanny. Um, let me know if you got spooked. I unfortunately I'm really super tired today, so I the, the the jump scare didn't get me. But usually I would have like been really <laughs> spooked by a, a sudden loud jump scare like that. But I'm so so out of it today. But I still enjoyed it very much. I love the atmosphere and I love the style and everything, and it's just great. Let me know what you think as always, and I will see you when I see you. Mm-hmm.